Hey guys, and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Phenem, the world of uh, obsidian waste of all that is left after the resource war that happened in the distant past. Just to, you know, remind you guys why we're here and what we're doing. Today, I intend to be doing a whole load of technology stuff. Uh, we're going to follow this quest line in the book. I'm not sure whether we're going to go down here or down this way. But for us to be able to do all this sort of stuff, we need some room. And I've been threatening to move this for some time. In fact, we're going to tran uh, rotate it that way around. We're going to 90 degrees to the right. Clockwise? That Yeah, that's clockwise. Cool. Around this point here. So it should just sink into this wall. Uh, I think we're going to do this in a time lapse, though. Time lapse complete, and I think we've got ourselves a great big hole that we can deal with here. There were a few issues. Uh, obviously, you saw all the silverfish coming at me. There was quite a battle when those um, armoured ones started coming out at me. As you can see over here, it wasn't just the wall I was digging that released some. They came out here, and they, they snuck up behind me when I was trying to fight them here. and oh, I was all pretty manic but thankfully we managed to fight our way through it and everything was all right okay so this wall here i'm not sure if i like the way the limestone is level with this it kind of works but at the same time i think i'd like to push it back one and over on this wall i'm going to start basically replicating this sort of idea out this way i think i like this bit that sticks out somewhat though i think we're, we're gonna go with that maybe we'll have another little panel here maybe where all this powering stuff goes so, like we throw everything to power stuff here um and then we can have maybe a workbench area something something that like is more about con uh, combining stuff and crafting here because i'd kind of like to move this chemical decomposer uh the reason being that all of these are over here right 
and that's all the way over there. And if I run over this way, oh, running is so slow. I've only got four item conduits, which wouldn't be too much of an issue. Like, normally we'd just be like, ha, don't worry about it. Just go and make some more. But if I have a look in my inventory here, uh, not the Ignis, uh, conduit. Okay, uh, somewhere in here, there we go, That there's the item conduit, that is the one we need to move items around, funnily enough. Now whilst I've got much, m much and many of these conduit binders, these pulsating iron nuggets, not so much. Now thankfully you get nine from a pulsating iron, and the pulsating irons are made by an iron ingot and an ender pearl. Now my ender pearl collection, let's go and have a look in the collection box, shall we, is... Literally non-existent. I don't think I've even seen an Enderman so far. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, short of a Dark Spawner? Maybe we want to set up some sort of massive Dark Spawner? I've not seen any Enderman boxes. I know over this way... Boxes, I mean um, Monster Spawners. Uh, I know over this way we've got a Gas Box. That, that's pretty nice. Over there, there are Zombie Pigments because that's the village. And I think there are Blazes and stuff in, in that... I don't. I only remember roughly what was in that when on the last sort of version of the map. You remember we we died at some point and caught back up. Uh, there there was stuff in there. Uh, I think it was just blazes. I think it was just blazes. But what whatever it was, it was an Enderman. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. If anybody has any ideas other than the massive dark spawner with a drop too deep. Uh, like, so deep that it'll kill everything other than Enderman. And then we can loot and... Oh, I don't have any loot. I don't have a looting sword. That's no good. Uh, that idea is not mine. I was watching Redstone Jazz's uh, Skyblocks series the other day. And that that's how he had everything set up. And I was like, that is a really good idea for getting Enderman if you can't, like, farm the, farm the end. That said, farming the end... I, I have no idea where the end. Anyway, shall we move on with stuff? Uh, I need to stop right-clicking to try and get out of the book. I always go all the way back and then it all goes wrong. So, we could go on with all these ender bits. Uh, I kind of like the idea of that, but I've got a feeling all the ender bits are going to need ender pearls and stuff like that. I'm not sure if any of them actually end up giving me any obsidian machine chassis. I'm probably going to get the machine chassis. I've, I've been having real troubles with words that have got the shh noise in it recently, like chassis and stuff like that. So if I if I stop and have to think about how to say things, that that's that's why. Uh, residential is another one that's really been getting me at the moment. Uh, I don't know why. It's, uh, well, there we go. That's the thing. Right, so, we are going to push on with some of the quests. Uh, let's find out how to make these industrial capacitors. Let's, let's find out. It might be something we can do straight away. I might just be talking rubbish because I've not even had a look. I can't, can't type. Uh, cap, cap, capacitor, no. They're these ones. Industrial capacitor. Oh, Wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, the go no, that's not what we want to I know how to make the gold. What are these? Capacitor. Oh, wow. Okay. Copper, aluminium, cellulose, lazurite, which we, we just don't have. Poly uh, so, we're going to have to build some of this stuff up, I think. I think we are. This is going to take a little bit of time. What is this? Okay, well, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time to put stuff together. Uh, possibly time that I don't have. What I'd like to do... Well, I do have the time, but I don't really want to spend that long doing stuff. Do you reckon we can do that? Um, somewhere in here I've got... No, I don't. Over this way. I've got a crescent hammer. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Because that's no good. And that's how this wants to be an in. Okay, now somehow we can... There we go. So we're extracting everything. That should just all pump into there. Brilliant. We, we think we want a better box here. I think we're going to want a better box. And it's quite slow at doing things. I need to figure out some way of transport. So I was told something. Sorry. So uh, an idea has literally just occurred to me. I was told a little while ago that you could... I don't have any chests. Let's, let's make a few chests. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's, that's, that's two chests. That should be cool, right? I've been, I've been going through chests like you wouldn't believe. Right, I was told that if you do this and pop this in there... Uh, oh, it's a, it's a regular ender chest. That's not the ender chest I want. I want the... Uh, I don't know. I mean, may, can we pull out of ender chests? Is this a thing that can happen? Should I make some? Let's find out. Let's see, let's see what happens. We're going to pop this here. And we're going to pop this one here. 
Uh, we're probably going to need something else to empty them into, but that, that's all right. Uh, so let's go from there. Will it connect to that? It doesn't look like it's going to. Uh, let's just try it. Let's just try it. It's all about testing, right? All about testing. No, it just doesn't want to connect to it at all. Shame. Great shame. Uh, it would have been great to work the other way. Uh, now I've got obsidian boxes in my way. I didn't even think about that. Okay, uh, we will deal with that. Boom. Uh, the way I'm going to deal with that, obviously, is with my steel pickaxe. It's going to take a while, I think. This is going to take a while. Oh, thank you. Thanks, thankfully, it's not that long. Uh, and we've got eight obsidian out of our eight wood. Um, mm, wood, wood. Wood to obsidian. I'm not sure if I enjoy that. I'm not sure if I enjoy that. Uh, so let's take all these elements out of here because they're the ones that are going to make everything very awkward. Um, run over here and put stuff away. So what I want to do, obviously, is try and connect everything up to here. Which is going to be a little bit difficult, as I say, because of the distance. I just want to empty everything out here. I I heard one. I heard one. Look, there he is. Where Where is he? Is he up above? We're going to go get him. Got, whatever he is, he has just turned up. I heard him teleport in, and then he made his little little funky noise. And we're going to go... Oh, he's running away from me. He knows. He knows. Hi there. I don't want to I don't want to annoy him until we get close. Where did he go? Oh, oh there's one of those massive gas things there. I'm just going to jump over this way. He's down that way. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to annoy him. Come on, let's have it. Battle of the ages. This is probably a bad idea, but we're going to try it anyway. Just... I need to lay hands on him. Oh, we're close to the pigment now. This could be a problem. Uh, and I was always worried about the ghasts. Uh, oh, he teleported away. Where is he? Ah, oh, that is so annoying. So, with the failure to go and capture that enderman, I've decided that pulsating iron might be a little way off for us. Definitely keeping that back, uh, that dark spawner in the back of my mind. But we're going to carry on with doing this industrial capacitor here. Now, besides all this that we want to get done here, which shouldn't be too hard, it's just going to be sitting around putting things together. This can be got from slime balls. I've got a lot of slime balls, so that, that should be okay. Uh, the thing that we actually need is this plastic. Now, the raw plastic is got from uh, smelting an iron bar, a rubber bar, sorry. And the rubber bar is got from smelting raw rubber. Now, if we take a look inside our book here, th this is obviously the uh, the quest we're doing. If we go to Life Rebooted, one of the things that I've been missing from here is the uh, bouncing back. Although you can synthesize rubber as needed, bringing back the rubber tree will provide rubber without expending as much energy to get as well as some other resources. Boom. Yeah, this that that is totally what I'm on. Uh, rubber. Uh, rubber sapling. Let's see how to make one. Is that the right, right type of rubber sapling that is? So we need some... Oh, wow. C4H816. 16 of those. Wow, okay. Well, I'm going to have to go do a little bit of butane. Wow, putting together of some stuff. Wow, look. Polymerization at its finest there. <coughs> Excuse me. So let, let's head on over to our machine over here. Uh, so... The Lazarite, I've actually started getting things together for here. I think Lazarite itself is just like that. No, have I got these two the wrong way around? Let's let's try this. No, I'm sure I'd got it right. Just one. One for four. Okay, uh, one for eight even. So I've got that eight. And then one of those. And one of those. we got ourselves some Lazarite. So nice and easy to replicate out. In fact, I'm going to come over here, grab us a stack of these. It's going to leave us with... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, we're a bit short of sodium, actually. Thanks. No, I didn't want that. I just wanted to put one away. Uh, thankfully, it shouldn't actually steal all our sodium off us if we just want to make four of these, right? Boom. Great. That's exactly. So I'll go put this sodium back, and I'm going to start putting together some of the stuff we need for the Lazarite. Um, I'll carry on recording, but I'm not going to give some commentary over the top. I'm sure we'll just do a little bit of a blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's the base components. Let's just quickly throw these in here so we don't have to go through all that again. Uh, and then we should be able to, if I remember correctly, uh, pop... Let's have a look. So we need to make this. That's that's the next bit, is to put this together in that order. Uh, so we put that there and one of these, which should hopefully make one of those. Once again, I would like to put this in here just so I know what I'm doing. 
Uh, and next we need chlorophyll and stuff like that. So I'm going to pop that there. Oh, look, barrel rubber. Nice. Uh, let's just have a look in here. So one of those, one cellulose and two chlorophyll. Thankfully, cellulose and chlorophyll, something that I have quite a lot. Of. So that's cellulose and two chlorophyll. Uh, I think we're only going to be able to make the one rubber sapling for now because that process was long, like proper long, proper long. There we go. We've got a rubber sapling. Awesome. Uh, I'm also going to just gonna do that. that. That should be good. I'm going to go plant this up out here. Uh, do I have my axe on I don't think I've actually got an axe at this present moment in time. Okay, well, we'll clear some space and pop it up out the back here. Hopefully we... Oh, maybe I should have brought some bone mill. Because then we could start getting rid of all these trees. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to chop this one down by hand. Because, you know, why not? Oh, punching wood. That, that's why not. It takes so long. All right, and down that goes. Awesome. Right, I was just thinking about how I'm running out of carbon, but I do believe these things here are a massive source of carbon, uh, including, like, the wood and stuff. Almost anything to do with the trees is a massive source of carbon. So if I go back and start burning that up, uh, I will be back in a bit with some bone mill and, and an axe, hopefully, and maybe just a, a little bit more uh, done towards the capacitor. Wow, rounding stuff up is an effort. I'm going to be really glad when we get an ME system in here with open computers controlling it all and just like everything will be better. better. Just uh, having to go around and do everything by hand is getting to be quite a nightmare. But anyway, talking about nightmares, let's get on with doing this. Uh, I did go around and collect everything up. I really wish there was a little like click to put this in the... Uh, in the thing here. I didn't collect... Uh, it wasn't proteins. I wanted, It was these anyway, so that's all right. I was just going a little bit insane there. I think it was these here. Copper at the bottom. Now, what was in there? The cellulose, right? There we go. So we want two of those. Okay, that that's a good start. Was it actually two of those? We need to make two of these capacitors. So I think actually we needed to make four of those. What am I missing now? We've got the aluminium and sulf... Uh, and cellulose it must be the copper right yeah we've only got one bit of copper there okay that's all right we can deal with that copper is something that i normally keep in excess inside the synthesis machine because it's used for redstone and all sorts of stuff uh so there's that all gone um one thing i have noticed is so this next thing i'm gonna have to do let's just clear all this out uh so if i first off store it in here always store stuff in my book uh then i can go back and make it just like at the flick of a page rather than having to go through all the individual processes again so what i want to do now is get some gold together i believe i can just do it with uh 16 like this um something like that yep yeah, brilliant so we just want two of those uh gonna have to pop it down there now what do we do we want the gold in the middle raw plastic top and bottom redstone all the way around like so and then finally to finish her off should be this now the thing I have I done it wrong oh it's in a crafting bench not in a synthesis what what, what am I doing I knew that was gonna be like I, I knew something was wrong I was putting stuff in here going but I can't put that in there what's what's going on here but I was just being a little bit of an idiot uh you'll notice that I do this quite a lot uh, every now and then I get something wrong and I'm like oh the game's bugged because obviously it's the game, not me. Right, so there, there was the industrial capacitor. Ah, oh, there we go. Number one done. Now, what's for the chassis? I don't know. I've not actually looked at this yet. So who knows? Oh, wow. Aluminium ingot. Okay, we can do that. Iron bars. There might be an easier way of doing this than like that. 3-3. Three, three. Okay, yeah, no, that works for me. 3-3. Three, three. Uh, so how many do we need? We only want one chassis. So we want four bars. Uh, okay, we can do that. We can do that. So there should be some iron in here. Even better than that. I've got the three, three right there. Oh, it's a shapeless because I, don't, I believe they're actually supposed to be next to each other. One, two, three, four. Okay, brilliant. We got that first one done. Uh, next is the machine frame basic. Ah, we all remember this, right? So we need uh, many iron ingots, which I don't think I've actually got the iron for at this present moment in time. That would be pretty rubbish. That's nickel iron eleven. Uh, I'm going to have to cook up some iron. So we'll, we will set that going. Let's just have a look in here. Full of water. Of course it's full of water. Uh, we were processing the slime balls. So that's why that's full of water. I've got enough stone to just grab a stack of stone. In fact, I even had some stone in my inventory already. Uh, but we will deal with that. Let's try and pop this back here. No, nope, that one. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a look in here and just kind of take out all the iron ones. Because they're, they're what we want, right? Uh, we don't want everything to fill up with 
rubbish after all. There's more iron there. Hopefully we can just let that carry on going. There doesn't seem to be as much rubbish out of stone as there was out of uh, cobble. There we go. That's that's near enough for a stack of iron right there. Uh, I want to put one there. Boom. Done. Four of those. Brilliantly. Brilliantly. Got to know how these things are done. Uh, the machine frame is definitely the thing we're going to start with. Uh, four blocks of glass. Now, I should have a whole load of silicon dioxide just over here. I'm going to grab a stack and see how much that actually makes us. I believe glass... Let's, let's just get our book out of here. If we do it all via the power of the book... Oh, overheating a little bit. I love that. Uh, I have not actually put glass in the book. That's a little bit annoying. That's a little bit annoying. I would have thought I would have done that. Uh, no, I just want... Just want normal glass, uh, stained glass, white, no, no, there we go, glass. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so, silicon dioxide, fours in each corner. Fours in each corner. Hello, what just happened? No. Oh, no, things are going wrong. So, once again, a crash that I have absolutely no idea why that happened. Uh, it, like, I went back and looked at the footage and everything, and as far as I can tell, I was just using the machine normally, and suddenly it stopped. But anyway, we were trying to make the machine sh chassis, uh, so, which means, of course, we're trying to make the machine frame, uh, which means we're trying to make glass and tin gears. Now, tin gears are relatively easy. I just start off with a few bits of cobble. There they are. And over here, we need to make a basic gear. Now, basic gears, I believe, are like this, then surrounded by wood. Yeah, yeah, nice and easy to remember. That, that That's cool. I should have a stock of tin in here somewhere. I don't think it's quite enough, so I'm going to go grab another stack. Uh, I think I need to turn this entire stack into ingots. There we go. That should be the way of doing it. One, two, three, four, hopefully. Um... Did it, did it secretly give it to me in disguise? It does that sometimes, where it, you, where it like builds one, but it doesn't show you. So then you uh, you click out, and suddenly you've got it all in your inventory, and it's just a, a mess to deal with. Now, glass, I believe, was four in each corner like this. Brilliant. And we want four of these, of course. One, two, three, four. Uh, once again, it says it's given me three. Yep. So it's a little bit of lag with the chemical synthesis machine at the moment. I'm not sure what is going on with that at all, even slightly. Uh, so let's... Uh, no, that's not the one we want. This is the one we want. In here, we've got the glass, we've got the tin gear. We just need to uh, make that up into a tin gear. That should be fine because that just goes in the middle there. Blah, 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 blah. Brilliant. Okay, so now it's like this glass around the outside and then iron on the inside, right? No, of course I got it wrong. Well, that's all right. It's just a simple case of clicking around on each square and then you get everything back and BAM! Yeah! All right, that's a quest. Was it not a quest? Ah, uh, no, that's the machine frame, not the machine chair. <laughs> I'm with it. Honest, I know what I'm doing here. I really am not jumping the gun. So let's go get a stack of aluminium there uh, so we can make up all of that around. That should be nice and easy, hopefully. Uh, we just want to do the same as we did with the tin. So if I just break these down into four like that and just go give it all. All of it. Is that all of it? Four. Bam. Uh, now, what else is it that we are missing? It's these iron bars. Now, hopefully... Now, was it three? One, two, three, right? Did it take the iron off me? Uh, I'm going to have to go through and have a look at the footage and see if it actually took the uh, the iron off me for these bars. I'm fairly sure it did. I don't think I... I don't think I've got the iron back. You can see that I'm still super low on iron. And that, that's not great because iron is one of the things that I'm really struggling with. No, I, that's a lie. I'm not really struggling with it. I'm just having a bit of a bit of a hard time keeping up. More to the fact that we're getting all the extra stuff. Like with the, uh, with the oxygen overflowing, that's almost entirely down to the... Uh, pyrite and stuff like that pyrite and magnetite they just have so much oxygen with them that every time you break down some iron for iron you obviously for iron uh, you end up with a load of oxygen uh, another thing that i'd like to point out whilst we were uh processing the slime balls we got some mercury down here so i'd like to welcome mercury to our periodic table Ooh, yeah elements we're getting closer to filling it all up uh also, whilst we're talking about the elements, as a little offhand aside, if we wa if I wanted to make an enderpearl, I would need einsteinium, which I believe is down sort of in the transition, not in the transmission, the landersites. 
something like that down the bottom there uh, which I, I just don't have any access to so that's why I've not just made an enderpearl for pulsating iron for anyone that wanted to know but anyway we're here to do this well what reward are we going to claim I'm thinking we're going to get another machine sa chassis because I've got a feeling that's going to be useful uh, I'm probably going to want him for more machines right like obsidian we can get anywhere the ab9 clips we can make the half heart well we, we are ahead of hearts uh so making all that rubber stuff i think did this i don't know exactly which one it is ah maybe it was one we did this hang about we've done the bouncing rubber uh, i'm gonna claim the rubber bar it just seems like a good idea to claim let's, let's just stock up on rubber hey uh, and i think doing that was what actually opened up this records thing but this is probably going to have to wait for next time. As I say, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're possibly going to do this. There's also uh, something all the way over that way somewhere that I would uh, like to go explore. I think... Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what I think it is. I'm just going to leave it at that. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!